guys what's up welcome back to my channel today we are actually in the kitchen because we will be cleaning the inside of my oven it's something I've wanted to do for the longest time but just never got around to doing it so today is the day so the things that I'll be using to clean the oven are stuff that you should have at home which is vinegar baking soda and water so before we get started with the cleaning, I'll just show you the inside of the oven for a before shot and then we'll get started with making the paste and then scrubbing down this oven. Okay, let's get to it. Alright, so I mentioned the water, the baking soda and the vinegar, but I forgot to mention that you'll need a spray bottle that you'll be putting the vinegar in to spray down the inside of the oven as well as I'm going to be using rubber gloves and a sponge to scrub everything. Okay, let's get started. Let's see the damage inside. Okay, it's pretty gross. I haven't cleaned the inside of the oven, to be honest, in a long time can just see and in the bottom I put aluminum foil just to catch as much as it can for anything that drops down so if I take that out pretty dirty. Alright, so this is the inside of the oven. I turned the light on so we can get a better look what it looks like. And then I pulled out the aluminum foil so it's not too bad in there because that's where the aluminum foil is but everywhere else is pretty gross. So I'm going to make sure to give this oven a really good scrub down. Okay. Alright, so the first step is making the paste. So it is one third cup water and one cup of baking soda. So after checking it out and stirring, I see that my baking soda water little concoction is ready to go. It's not super thick or runny. It's just right. And so I'm just going to spread this all over the oven where the grease has built up. Alright, so this is what the oven looks like inside. I took out the oven racks already. So you can get a good look at the inside and um, in here it's not as dirty because I had laid out some aluminum foil and I just pulled that out all right so that's what it looks like I haven't cleaned in this oven in a long time so it's quite gross can't wait for the big transformation after I clean this oven. It'll look amazing and brand new. All right, I got my gloves on and I'm ready to go and tackle this. second batch and we'll get to just spreading it all over the oven again.
this is what it looks like on day one or the first time that I put the paste on it. Since it's been so long that I cleaned the inside of the oven, I'll leave this paste overnight and then spray it down with vinegar and then repeat the process one more time just so I can get the inside of the oven looking super clean. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so this is day two of cleaning the oven. So I left the paste of the baking soda and water overnight and I'll just show you what it looks like now. So that's what it looks like overnight. And then now I will spray the vinegar and then scrub down the inside of the oven. to spray the vinegar and then scrub down the oven. Here we go, the oven door looks so much better. This used to be full of gunk and crap, and it's almost all gone, but I mean, it's such a big improvement. There still is stuff on here, but I mean, it's, it's a lot better than what it looked like before. I'm pretty happy. I'll probably try and do this again one more time but yeah just for the purpose of this video i just wanted to show you the three-day process so it looks great i'm quite happy especially with this door so much has come off so yeah that was me cleaning the inside of my oven so i know for next time i won't leave it that long to go without cleaning it because it wasn't that bad actually so if you like these type of videos, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notification on so you know whenever I post new videos, as well as leave a comment down below if you'd like. Alright, hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!